Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We got another great presentation. Again, we're going to look at some scientific studies and answer some questions for you, okay? All our presentations are based on pure 100% science. Otherwise, we don't <coughs> bring it into this uh, the channel at all. So, the question today is, does mountain bikers have more erectile dysfunction after a long distance cycling event? We have given some, some presentation about erectile dysfunction. How does it work? What is the treatment? Today, our topic of the question is, does mountain bikers have more actual some function of a long distance cycling event? Again, my name is Premier Chariat. I'm a program director, internal medicine residency program, transitional residency program. I teach medical students and medical residents, and then I'm also <coughs> um, a syndrome from medicine to major medical school. Let's get into our topic today. So, if you look at the epidemiology, erectile dysfunction is a huge problem in the United States and all over the world, right? If you look at Viagra, that's the number one selling drug in the world. Why is that? There's so many people suffering from erectile dysfunction. If you look at it, like, you know, staggering numbers, 18 million men in the United States. So 18.4% of the male population age 20 years or older, erectile dysfunction, okay? So <clears throat> if you look at it, um, uh, the mechanism for it um, is um, we got this new nice diagram. You have arousal, there's parasympathetic signal to the penis, nitric oxide release, guanocyclase from GTP to CGMB, and CGMB is uh, makes smooth muscle relaxation and erection. And then below is the where <coughs> your Viagra work is a phosphodiesterase inhibitor blocks CGMB conversion to GMB. Okay. That's the way that uh, Viagra works. Risk factors, many age, medical condition, tobacco smoking, obesity, coronary artery disease, any kind of injury, mechanical causes, medication, drug use, alcohol use, psychological condition, all of this, many, many things can cause it. So our question today, like, I mean, how does uh, long distance cycling does cause um, uh, erectile dysfunction? The compression of the pudendal nerve, that's the one supplying to the uh, penal region and the supplying the blood supply by pudendal artery. So this gets compressed and that's where the problem starts. Okay, so we found a little, I mean, we did a literature search to answer our question. We found this great study, erectile dysfunction after a long distance cycling event association with the bicycle characteristics. And this is our objective of the, in this paper was to investigate the effects of mountain, bis mountain bicycle versus a road bicycle long distance cycling event of erectile dysfunction. When we talk about long distance, it's more than like 350 kilometers. <clears throat> so these people, I mean, you know, in the design, there was 463 cyclists and complete a cycling event of 320 kilometers and never had a history of erectile dysfunction before. Um, so the results based on this paper analysis, mountain bikers have increased risk of erectile dysfunction when compared to road bikers of long distance cycling event. So if you look at the relative risk, is like 4.1, four times more likely, and the confidence interval is 1.6 to 12.5 with a p-value of 0 0.005. So statistically and very, very significant finding, okay? So conclusion, um, based on um, uh, the, this paper, there is an increased risk of erectile dysfunction with the mountain bike versus mountain bikers when they compare to the road bike uh, when people doing long distance bicycling, bicycling of 320 kilometers or more. Thank you so much for watching our channel. We'll be back with another great presentation. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.